One thing I want you to understand about the zones is how they relate to each other and how your effectiveness in one relates to your effectiveness in another. So in other words, your effectiveness here in the transition zone is a result of your effectiveness in the neutral zone and your effectiveness in the offensive zone is related to your effectiveness in the transition zone. In this video we're going to talk about the offensive zone which pretty much starts about right there and this one's pretty easy. One thing I am going to do though is I'm going to leave the shot selection for another discussion like I did in the uh, transition zone so we'll talk about the angles and geometry a little bit later on. But for play in the offensive zone your job is to end the point hopefully in your favor and as I said earlier you will be in very good position if you did a good job in the trans transition zone and if you didn't you're not going to be in a good position up here and a good position is not back here or up here I'd say it's probably right around in here this area here it allows you to move in play a volley closer to the net and recover back to this position so you don't get lobbed the only thing you gotta worry about is playing the ball from too far away or too close to the net because here the angles are too great against you and up here you're too close to the net to guard against a lob. So again, it has to do, you'll find your success here has to do with here. So if you want to become more effective in the offensive zone, you'll need to become more effective in the transition zone. 